Nah, nah, son, nah, son. Yo, I'm about to leave. I'm about to get on with my day and head outside. I got some things I need to take care of. But Shotgun Shug, you, you, you wildin', son. And, and I got a lot of respect for you, but I feel like, and I feel like, I gotta talk to you like this. Like, we gotta have this conversation because what I saw you tweet, I was very upset. It had nothing to do with me personally, but it, it I felt it personally. You said that you done with the game, like F the game. I'm, I'm gonna read what you said, bro. You said, this is exactly why I don't F with this culture and can't wait to leave this. 10 years later, I'm the underdog against a crucible. I'm out. This culture don't respect me. F it, I quit. And you put the little crying emoji like you was just joking, but because somebody said Blake 2-1 over Shug Clear. Talking about Blake the Barbarian. Respectfully, salute to him and everything that he's got going on. Bro, you got to understand. You've been in this game for a while. You done had some big moments. You done had some highs. You done had some lows. You done bounced up, bounced. Like, you done did this. But you got to understand that you subscribing to people's opinions when it shouldn't matter. You just had a fire battle versus B Dot. Who cares if you won? Lost, whatever the case may be. But, dog, you got to pull your skirt down, B. You cannot be upset by the fact that some random fan has an opponent beating you in a battle. That might not even happen. This battle's not even booked. And you sitting here saying that you can't wait to leave it. No, you're not leaving this coat. Nah, fam, you can't leave like that. You're not allowed to leave like that. Like, you can't just be like, yo, I'm out. Like, I'm walking out. Bro, it don't work like that. You the one when it comes to a lot of the new dudes, you know what I'm saying? You stepped up your pen, you versus beat out, you did your thing in that battle. A lot of people gave you respect, admiration, and props, myself included. But no way, not for a second. Do you think that we about to let that rock like that? Like, for real, you're not even booked in no battle with Blake. So what makes you think, look at him, look at him, he's emotional. He's emotional. You not allowed to get emotional. Not about no nobody's opinion. That's one person's opinion. That's all it is. You know what? Somebody told me a long time ago, Verb, said that when you're in this game and you're at a level where you see it with tens and thousands of people and millions of people are viewing you, it's going to be two sets of opinions. It's going to be opinion of people on this side of the street and it's going to be the opinion of everybody else, which is the people that are popular in the culture, known, have names, battle, whatever the case may be, and then it's everybody else's opinion. You on this side of the street. We on this side of the street. You worried about the opinions of the people that you can't change. You cannot change those people's opinion. You have people that feel like you've never won a battle ever. But your kids is good. You're getting paid. You're on caffeine. You're making bread. You're making bread, right? Huh? You're making, you're eating, right? Everybody ain't eating, B. So for you to say that you can't wait to get out the bro, no. No, 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 no. Why? Don't get so sensitive. Who cares? You know, there's people every day. This blog is better than you. That blog is better than you. This person do. Bro, I don't subscribe to none of that. I don't subscribe. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm only here for Showtime SP, my family, and the people who rock with the content that I've put out. Other than that, it don't even matter. You're subscribing to the wrong people's opinions. It should not matter. You should only be focused on what's in front of you. The next bag, the next battle, the next big thing. But this right here, bro, this type of shit has to stop. Because you see, even people in the comments is telling you, bro, like, you you, you looking emotional right now. You can't be out here looking like this. It, it, you, you're not looking good, B. You're looking real shaky. You're looking shaky, baby. Shaky, baby. And I seen you lost your Instagram not too long ago. Uh, you said, I think you said something like, somebody said that you was following too many people. So you let them get the Instagram to, 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 to unfollow a bunch of people so you can look more popular. See, this is the shit I'm talking about, Shug. I fuck with you, but you worried about the wrong people's opinion. Who gives a fuck about how many people you was following? I promise you, where we feel or how we think about you would not have changed with how many people you were following on fucking Instagram. It means nothing. You were following people that you wanted to follow, whose profiles that you thought was dope, or people that you rocked with. But you let somebody tell you that you was following too many people and you needed to be one of them people who have 100,000 followers but follow 25 people. Bro, that shit don't mean nothing. You literally listen, you getting advice from the wrong people, my nigga. 
So now you gotta start your gram all over again from the bottom and build your shit all the way back up. If you would have just understood that that shit don't mean nothing, my nigga. Whether you follow one person, 5,000, 10,000, it does not matter at the end of the day. We rock with you for how we rock with you, period. I'm gonna I'm call it how I call it so I can't spoil it. So you gotta understand that we all in this together and we gotta protect each other, each single part. We all gonna have ups, we all gonna have downs, we all gonna have highs, we all gonna have lows, we all gonna have different moments in our lives where we be like, yo, that was some dumb shit. I should have never did that. I have those moments all the time. But as long as you continuing to strive and be better, be a better person every day is an opportunity to, to be a better person. Protecting your peace, like my nigga Jim say, protect your peace. That's all that matters. You letting all this outside interference come in and get in your head and, and, and rattle you. Now you're talking about leaving, quitting and doing what? What are you going to do? You're going to go work at Home Depot? They're going to notice you there? What are you going to do? Work at Lowe's? Shotgun shoot. Once we end this, we end this. It doesn't matter who you are. There's nowhere that I'm going to go. Me personally, as just a blogger. There's no way I'm going to go where there's people who look like me and they don't know why. That's just the way it is, bro. We already in this. Once you win this, you win this. Ain't no out. Where are you going to go? You think you're just going to disappear? Where are you going to disappear to? Where are you going to go? There's no retirement in battle rap. <laughs> there is none. There's no 401k. There's the next bag, the next battle, the next battle. And I understand that you might have felt some way because they're saying that a dude in the crucible would have beat you, but who cares? Who cares? Who cares? At the end of the day, that was some shit that you could have kept scrolling by. You ain't even have to, you didn't even have to reply to that. What does that mean? Just because they said a crucible may beat you? Nigga, I could say Don Marino's going to beat you. I could say fucking Newborn's going to beat you. I could say fucking Showtime SP will beat you. It don't mean nothing until it happens. You just did your thing versus fucking beat up. Now you out here looking crazy. Bro. Go find that man, and do not come back until you find that man, B. You out here looking crazy. You looking crazy. You, just, you niggas looking like the Three Stooges of Harlem out here. I was about to be on my way. I got shit that I got to take care of during my day, but I see you on here tweeting this type of shit. My nigga, this is not it, bro. I'm going to read it again for you so you know. And I know you're going. this blog is going to get to you. I know it will, it will make it to you. This is exactly why I don't fuck with this culture and can't wait to leave this shit 10 years later and I'm the underdog against the Crucible. I'm out. This culture don't respect me. Fuck it. You know what the problem is? I'm going to tell you another problem with you niggas. Y'all never celebrate or y'all never share when niggas show y'all love. When niggas show y'all love, y'all don't never, y'all don't retweet. A nigga do a whole blog on y'all winning a battle or having a great battle. I did a blog called Shotgun Shook. When you start rapping like that, you need to rap like that for good. I'm sure you saw it. It was after the B dot battle. If not, I'll pin it in the comments. You think that shit got retweeted? I mean, I don't need, I don't live for no battle rap. Yeah, I don't need that. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing great on my own. Product is buzzing. We moving. We doing the I don't need it, but I'm saying, y'all don't never retweet or show the love. Salute to um battle rap and weed. Weed and battles the, the new nigga, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with the nigga channel and shit. We battle raps and weed, you know what I'm saying? He said, y'all never show love. That's the thing. And I, and I retweeted him and said, yo, when a nigga hate on you, it get a whole movie. You know what I'm saying? But when a nigga show love, he can't even get a retweet. A nigga get a movie and a book off some hate, though. He get a movie and a book with a spinoff. With a spinoff off some hate. But nigga show love. Nigga recap your battle. Nigga talk about your bars. I done seen niggas. We recap their battle breakdown. All their bars. Niggas won't even retweet it. But as soon as you say a nigga lost, as soon as you say a nigga slip, as soon as you say a nigga falling off, nigga want to jump out there and get mad at you. My highest viewed blog ever was Averb versus Murder Mook. I gave Averb the battle clearly. Think the nigga retweet the shit? Fuck no. You think the nigga mentioned the shit? Fuck no. Shit did 300,000 views. You think that nigga showed any love? No. But as soon as I said he was falling off and that, you know, if he ain't going to be taking the shit serious, he shouldn't do it. Oh, it was a problem. Oh, now I'm the worst thing since Hitler. So that's why I don't subscribe to niggas' opinions. Because they not gonna show no love. When you show love, niggas not gonna show no love. But when you say anything that sounds like hate, and I'll tell y'all all the time, the hate sound, the truth sound like hate, the niggas will hate the truth. So when niggas hate the truth, they gonna use the truth as proof as you ain't you. But you know, I don't wanna load the luck, y'all, and talk too far ahead. But shotgun show, you need to stay focused, my nigga, because that shit right there is moist. You should not be on, <laughs> that shit is moist, B. You should not be on live talking about 
you about to quit the game because a nigga in the comments said you gonna lose to Blake. Nigga, you not even battling Blake. What the fuck is you talking about? Go find it, man, and don't come back until you find it, man. You got merch to sell, you got business to run, you got battles to have. I'm very disappointed in you, but I'm sure you're going to get it together. And I hope, I hope you see this blog and get back on your motherfucking game because that shit ain't it. I'm gone.